Hey y'all, this is Mandy. No, I forgot to do my intro. <laughs> if you are always looking for new recipes to feed your family, you have found the right channel. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. I don't cook with chicken thighs that have the skin on and the bone in very often, but today we're gonna do that and have a feeling that this is going to turn out so good. We're gonna be utilizing the air fryer for these chicken thighs and we are gonna be making some crispy ranch chicken thighs. So first things first, let's coat these in some olive oil. And I'm just gonna massage this in there and I'm gonna kinda of flip them over and just make sure they all get coated so our seasonings will stay coated on there. We don't lose them in the process. I've got some lemon juice here, about a tablespoon, not a whole lot. That's gonna brighten it up just a little bit. I'm gonna put some garlic on there. I'm gonna rub this in just so it kinda goes all over. And I might actually pick up the skin and rub it underneath too. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Next, I'm gonna add in some ranch powder. I'm just gonna do it till it feels right. I'll put some measurements in the description box below, don't worry. I'm trying to avoid having to touch it. So I gotta wash my hands 50 times. 50. 50. Now the ranch powder has a little bit of salt already. I'm not gonna add too much salt. Oh, you know what, before we flip it, we're gonna add pepper too. And then Steven just brought up a really great idea for a little extra color. We love throwing paprika. So let's put a little bit of that on there. The air fryer is preheating to 380. So I have this magnet on the side of my fridge and I consult it all the time when I'm using my air fryer. But for this one, we're doing bone in thighs. So it says for two pounds, do it at 380 for about 22 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I've got a little bit of parsley. This is gonna go on on the end. I just wanna run my knife through it. Okay, first things first, spray it with a little oil. Oil. <laughs> Yeah, say it right. And just so y'all know, in full disclosure, when we turned the camera off, we added more ranch powder and more paprika. They are not lacking in seasoning. I can tell you that much. Going back in at 380 for 22 minutes. Beep. smell a vision engaged. <laughs> oh. It smells so good, y'all. Amazing. Yeah. That's gonna be so good. It is. Like, it is. Ooh. Oh, she crispy. Yeah, that's crispy. Yeah, we need some more time. Need some more time. Yep, six more minutes. See where we're at. So we decided to go ahead and flip them over just so the tops wouldn't get burnt. They're very crispy right now, but we don't want them to burn. So we flipped it over. Now we're just gonna let it finish out. Okay, they're definitely ready. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get in here now. He said, oh my goodness. So I filmed him real quick. I can't even talk. Hmm. <laughs> That is the best I've ever had. <gasps> I am not believing what I'm hearing man. right now. Oh man, that is really good. I'm already done. <laughs> well, with that piece, he's got another piece. Mm. And just for y'all, just so you know, this is just like one of those 90 second pouches mm. of chicken herb rice, I think, and then just some frozen veggies. So dinner was ready in under 30 minutes, which is my kind of meal. You see that color on there? Now don't be afraid of that dark color right there. It ain't burnt. That ain't burnt. That's flavor. It is so much flavor. It you're, is so good, y'all. You're just going to get into that. <laughs> I just ate some of mine. And yes, it looks burnt. I understand mm. that. But it does not taste burnt. It tastes delicious. Mm. Look at them fingers. <laughs> you got a napkin somewhere. You done balled it up, haven't you? That napkin ain't no good. <laughs> Chicken for the little queen. There you go, Diva. Was it good? Hmm. I quickly want to tell you about today's sponsor and that is ButcherBox. We have been using ButcherBox for about three and a half years and I have to say we might be their biggest cheerleaders because not only do we tell y'all about them but we tell our family and friends just how much we love the quality of ButcherBox meats. Not to mention that it comes from animals raised without hormones or antibiotics. It's a super convenient subscription box with the highest quality meats. And they have over 25 varieties of cuts so you can get exactly what your family wants. Here's how it works. They have either the curated box or the custom box 
which is what we normally go with. In the custom box, you get nine to 14 pounds of meat that you pick out and you can get up to 30 meals with that. It's only $169 for the custom box. And then if you break that down per meal and then compare it to grocery store prices, not only are you saving money with Butcher Box, but you're getting higher quality meat delivered straight to your door. Oh, and the shipping, always free. They offer 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork raised crepe-free, and wild-caught seafood. Our family has had so many meals using ButcherBox meats, and yes, you can taste the difference. So if you're interested in trying ButcherBox, just click the link in the description box below, and you will receive two pounds of grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef in every box for the lifetime of your subscription. That's a really good deal. You know what I haven't cooked with in a while? ground turkey. Today we're going to have a turkey and rice skillet. It's got all kinds of good ingredients, but this is going to be on the healthier side, which is always a good thing. I recently did a video on different uses and different ways to make rice, and tonight would be another great one. So I'm going to cook the rice fresh tonight, but this is a great use for leftover rice as well. So I had some leftover vegetable broth. That's what I'm going to cook my rice in. That is heating up now. I don't have a ton of chopping to do, but I am going to go ahead and chop up these two green onions. The recipe calls for half a cup of parsley. I'm not going for quite that much, but I've got some curly parsley here. I've got this red bell pepper. I'm gonna chop it up as well. Now, I think in the recipe they used green olives, but I had these Kalamata olives on hand, so that's what we're gonna go with. Do a little quality check here. Mm-hmm, they're real good, yep. So I'm just gonna roughly chop these. My skillet is heating up, but I wanted to tell you, the recipe calls for chickpeas. I'm not the biggest fan of chickpeas, so we're gonna sub out some Great Northern Beans you can do cannellini beans, but this is just what I had on hand. My turkey is starting to brown. We're gonna add some seasonings to it. Just a heads up, if you've never cooked with ground turkey, just know that it can be kind of bland, but you've just gotta season it well and it'll be great. So I've got these seasonings, oregano, cumin, paprika, and some crushed red pepper flakes. Those are all gonna go in. It's up to you how much red pepper flakes you add or if you add them at all. You know, we like a little bit of spice. I think the recipe calls for a teaspoon. So we need about a tablespoon of paprika, about a teaspoon of cumin, and then a teaspoon of dried oregano. And then of course, salt and pepper. Turkey is very lean. I should have put some olive oil in here when I first started, but I just added about a tablespoon or two of olive oil just now, just to help it but you see how seasoned that looks. That's exactly what we want. Our turkey is completely done, so I turned down the heat to about medium. We're gonna add in our bell pepper, as well as our green onion at this point. And we're gonna let it cook for a couple of minutes. And I'm also gonna grab our garlic. The recipe says one clove. That ain't how I do. <laughs> it's more like three cloves, but. You do you. We're gonna let this cook two or three minutes just to kind of soften those bell peppers. At this point, we're just gonna add in a little more olive oil. It says a teaspoon, I went for more than that. And we're gonna grab our rice. Check out my new pot holder that one sweet subscriber sent to me. So our rice is good and ready. I don't quite need all of this rice for this recipe, but I went ahead and made a whole cup of rice just because that's what we love. We love rice so we can use it for the rest of the week. I think the recipe itself calls for one cup of cooked rice. So I'm gonna add maybe a little more than that. We're just gonna stir that to combine it and let it cook for another couple of minutes before we add in our last few ingredients and then we'll be ready to eat. This is a quick, quick dinner. It wouldn't be a Mandy recipe if I didn't forget an ingredient. Along with this rice, we need to add in our chickpeas, or well, chickpeas if you're using them. Great northern beans for me. I drained and rinsed mine there in the can. I'm gonna let these heat through for a couple of minutes along with the rice. Last touch are olives and our parsley and let that heat through for just a minute. I also chopped up an avocado and a lemon, a lemon. That looks like a lemon, right? A tomato and sliced some lime and just squeeze that over top. That's just a great topping idea for it too. You want to test it and make sure your seasonings are good. See if you need more salt and pepper here at the end. So let's do that. Mmm. I'm gonna throw in just a little more salt and a little more pepper. 
to make a chili in here? No. Oh. <laughs> the bean flavor is quite nice with this. Okay, good. Really like that, even though it's not pinto bean. Right, but it called for chickpeas. Okay. And I said no. So, oh, yeah. We're not a big fan of chickpeas. No, I mean, they're okay. They're just not my favorite. It's like a dirty rice. Okay. Like a healthier version of dirty rice. It's like a healthier rice. version yeah. of dirty rice. All right. Not so dirty, dirty rice. <laughs> I was a little suspect on the turkey now. I'm not going. You always are. You always but are. This has got seasonings in it. It's really good. Very tasty. It is. Version. Tasty of while being healthy. Dirty rice. I guess. We like. What kind of rice is this called? What's it called? It's just rice. <laughs> it's basmati. Do what? Oh, God. Do right. Gosh, we're out. What are you eating? That's so loud. That's what happens when you send Steven up to the grocery store to get groceries. I sent him with a list and he came back with his own version of the list. Now he got the things I asked him to get, but he also got him some Sometimes you just gotta skins. eat some pork chains. It is our third meal, which means it is Subby Supper Night. Subby Supper just stands for Subscriber Supper, meaning one of my subscribers submitted a recipe on a Google form that I always have linked below in the description box. So if you have a recipe you want to submit, make sure you go check that out and just leave it there. But this one comes from Chloe. Chloe sent us her version of slider burgers. Anytime I see slider anything, I'm always in, number one. But number two, this particular recipe that she gave me does not have exact things, which leaves it up to interpretation, which I love. That gives you a little like you you don't feel boxed in you know so i love her ideas we're gonna go with what she has on here she doesn't have specific um, seasonings so we're gonna do that that on our own and then we're also gonna just kind of add what we like on our slider burgers chloe said that she also has a cat named gracie and her cat is a calico cat and is very fluffy i'm sure she's gorgeous and i love her name too first things first let's preheat our oven oh uh, let's do it to 375 she didn't say I'm just guesstimating okay something I'm pretty sure yeah she didn't mention doing but we love onion so we're gonna do it I'm just using about half an onion because that's what I had left over in the fridge there we go let's head over to the stove I've added my one pound of ground beef and I'm also gonna add my diced onion but Stephen had a really great idea we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and some pepper. So this is what was left up to interpretation from Chloe. She just said season your ground beef. So we're not going to season it too much because we're going to be adding some other things, but salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder, I think. That does not look appealing, but that was Steven's idea. Tell him what it is. It's a chipotle pepper. So I keep these in the freezer all the time. So we're going to add that to it just to kind of give it that chipotle smoky flair. And we're gonna throw that in with our ground beef. So my mama and daddy told me about this boar's head onion jack, and it is so good. Oh my word. So if you can find this at your grocery store, you should get it. I'm gonna add this to our sliders because why not? This is finished cooking, so I drained off the grease, and now we're gonna add in some barbecue sauce. She didn't say how much, so we're just kinda, kinda gonna kinda go with it. I can talk, I promise. And then she said you can also add in some hot sauce if you like. So we're going to add in just a tad. We got to do a little bit of quality control over here. Not bad. Okay. So you were about to go in for a second bite. I saw you and <laughs> you stopped. I'm going to put just a little bit of Worcester sauce in there. Ooh, mm. never a bad idea. We had to open up a new bottle. Got some at Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. It's just us eating it, so you can use that same spoon. You won't taste it again. <laughs> yes, I do. It smells so good mm -hmm. yes okay that is what you want all right let's turn it off and we're going to go over and start assembling our sliders okay on the bottom of our rolls we're going to add a little bit of mustard better you than me i can never hold that when it has stuff in it like my wrist is so weak so thank you for doing that you're welcome so chloe mentioned doing chopped pickles and i think she meant chopped pickles inside of this but we're just going to go with some hamburger pickle chips all over the top so I'm gonna let you do the honors. You might wanna grab a fork. You don't want to just stick my hand down there, then, do you? <laughs> huh? No, I don't. This is gonna be delicious. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. Now for some onion jack cheese. Onion jack. This is all gonna, as uh, as Mandy would say, meld together. 
Why do you make fun of me for saying mailed? Mailed. It's a word. Mailed is kind of like mauve. Mauve. It's an unusual word. Mauve? Do you words, say mauve? It's some words you can really make sound real southern when you say it. Now, I don't say mauve. Mauve. <laughs> I say mauve. Mauve. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> now we need to melt some butter. Yeah. Let me, let me melt some butter. Okay, so we've got our butter melted. We're gonna add in some garlic powder because she said to do some garlic butter. So that's just gonna be the easiest way to do it for now. We're just gonna brush that all over the tops. So these are just gonna go in the oven just like this. I'm not even gonna cover them because they don't have to bake for too long, but they're going in for just about 10 minutes. Is that my column? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Oh my goodness, they look so good. I see what you did there for the picture. I did. Stacked them up. <laughs> Cute. I like it. That is absolutely delicious. Yay. Smoky. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the sweet from the barbecue sauce. Yeah. Just a teeny weensy bit of spice from the okay. chipotle peppers. Mm -hmm. And from the Cholula. Yeah. And from the Cholula. Goes really good with this Hawaiian bread as well. Awesome. Kind of the, the sweet, sweet. To yeah. Hawaiian bread. The, mm -hmm. Kind of with the buttery yeah. of it with the butter on top of everything. That is really good. This is really, really good. Well, excellent. Thank you, Chloe, for mm -hmm. sending this in. We are all, all for a slider. Mm -hmm. Anytime I see a slider, I get so excited. So, little girl, where have you been? Hmm? We ain't got nothing for you? This is just awful. You want some, you want some bread? Mm. See if I can give you some bread. I don't know if you'll eat one like that. Okay, hold on. Oh, she like that. Okay. She's happy. Yes, yeah, she wants more. There she comes. <laughs> Thank you again to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. If you join ButcherBox today, you are going to get two pounds of grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef in every box for the lifetime of your subscription. That's a really great deal. Thank y'all for being here, and we will see you next week. Bye, y'all.